Hello, I'm David Miller, Mayor of Toronto. Like you, I'm extremely proud of our city. It's a city that welcomes newcomers from around the world. It's a city that meets the highest environmental standards. And it's a city, most of all, built on the idea of social justice, that every single resident has an important part to play in the life of our city. But it's also a city that faces a serious challenge. And today, I'm asking for your help. I'm asking for you to join my call for a national handgun ban. Before you make up your mind, I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever held in your arms a grieving mother who's just lost her son or daughter to handgun violence? Have you ever taken by the hand a brother, a sister, a cousin, an aunt, a father, an uncle, a friend of somebody whose life has been needlessly lost? I have. I have far too many times, and I've told those mothers that I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that there are no other victims to senseless handgun violence. Well, we have something in our power, and that is a change to the law. Every single country in the world that has strict gun laws, has lower rates of homicide by gun, has lower rates of suicide, has lower rates of accidental death, and has lower rates of domestic violence using handguns. The facts are straightforward. Now probably you thought that in Canada we already have strict gun laws. Well the truth is that today people can legally own hundreds of thousands of handguns in Toronto and across Canada. I think that's wrong. I think we need to make a statement and we need to act to make our streets safe. To me it's a moral issue and it's pretty simple. Are we truly a country that values peace and doesn't believe in gun violence? Well if we are then our laws need to make that statement by banning the ownership of handguns in this country. Handguns are only manufactured for one thing. They're designed to be used to kill. I think it's time our country said no. We don't want handguns on the streets of Canada. If you agree with me, please go to our website, www.toronto.ca, and go to Canada Handgun Ban and sign the petition. If you add your name and voice to the thousands of Canadians that are calling for this Parliament to act, together we can make our city and our country truly the safe place we want them to be. With your help, we'll build on the terrific efforts of the Toronto Police, who've ensured that crime is down in every major category except handgun violence. And we'll build on the efforts of the city's community safety plan, which is bringing hope and opportunity to neighborhoods across Toronto. But we can't do it without you. It's only by speaking up together that we can end the handgun violence that plagues so many. Please, www.toronto.ca. Click on our website now and sign the petition, Canada Handgun Ban. Thank you for your support. Well, you'll find out now as we begin our top 10 list, starting with number 10, gun control reduces crime. The horror of the shootings at Virginia Tech had many people talking about gun control. It's about the weapons, the guns, where did the killer get them? They're shocked at how easy it is to purchase a gun. It is simply too easy to obtain a firearm. The belief that gun control prevents gun crime is why many were upset this spring when... A bombshell court ruling could put handguns back in D.C. homes. A court threw out Washington, D.C.'s 30-year ban on guns. And that's outrageous, said public officials. More guns, very simply, lead to more violence. I don't know how anyone could be serious in saying that, because the von gun violence went up when they banned handguns. Tom Palmer's one of the plaintiffs who sued D.C. over the right to have a gun. He's correct about gun violence going up. Since Washington's gun law passed, the murder rate actually increased, even while America's murder rate dropped. It's because guns can also save lives, says Palmer. 
as one saved his years ago in California. We were walking on the street, and this group of young men uh, took really strong exception to that. They stood up, 19 or 20 young guys followed us, and they told us, we're going to kill you, they'll never find the bodies. And I turned around and showed them the business end of a pistol. Just pulling out the gun was enough to stop them. Yeah, it works. Merely having a weapon and being able to display it when I was threatened saved my life. Now, you may think that carrying a gun, as Palmer did, is illegal in most of America, but it's not. Many people don't realize that today in America, in about 40 states, it is legal to carry a concealed weapon on your person. And in those 40 states, there is no more violent crime or murder than in states where guns are restricted. The town of Kennesaw, Georgia, went a step further and passed a law requiring every household to have a gun. Did they then experience a crime wave? No. Well, after the city ordinance passed, there was actually a decrease in reported crime in the Kennesaw area, especially violent crime. Now, I don't want politicians ordering me to have a gun, and the law isn't enforced here. But townspeople we talk to like the law. I think it makes people think twice. This is a very peaceful place to be. We should have guns. I mean, that's what uh, free society do. These maximum security felons said they fear an armed victim much more than the police. When you want to rob somebody you don't know, it makes it harder. And they said gun laws don't matter to them. They don't obey them. I'm not worrying about the, the government saying that I can't carry a gun. I'm going to carry a gun anyway. It's impossible to know exactly how often guns stop criminals, because who reports a crime that doesn't happen? But people use guns in self-defense every day. Often just showing a gun is enough to prevent the crime. When robbers broke into Joyce and Raymond Pappin's home and attacked Raymond, he yelled, Get the gun, get the gun. Joyce did, and when the robbers saw it, they ran away. Boy, when he saw the gun, he just started running, and they weren't just walking fast, they were running. They had boots on, you could hear them boots a clopping. Joyce says having a gun changes the balance of power. And here's a controversial idea. Some Virginia Tech students say they wish students had been allowed to carry guns because one of them might have stopped the killer before he shot so many people. And that's what happened five years ago at the Appalachian School of Law. Hearing shots, two students went to their cars, got their guns, and helped restrain this shooter until police arrested him. One of the things that the gun does is it equalizes unequals. My mom told me when I was a young boy, because she was armed, she was never afraid. So, gun control isn't necessarily crime control. In fact, the National Academy of Sciences reviewed hundreds of studies and could not document a single gun regulation that reduced violent crime or murder. If someone gets into your house, which would you rather have, a handgun or a telephone? You can call the police if you want, and they'll get there, and they'll take a picture of your dead body. But they can't get there in time to save your life. The first line of defense is you.